We're down here in the hills of Tennessee. We're fixing to uh, go on a good old hog chase back in the woods. See if we can bay a hog or two and knock them down. The Tennessee wild boar is a unique and challenging quarry. But for Wild Adventure TV hosts Brian, Mark, and DeLore Smith, these tough customers of the Cumberland Mountains represent another opportunity to prove the mettle of the designated slug gun and light field ammunition as the premier combination of accuracy and knockdown power ideal for taking all manner of big game. We're using those new board busters by light field too. They're board busters by light field, and uh, we've got our new uh, Savage Bolt guns. We're ready to get after them, man. I'm excited. Join us this week as we visit Ken Moody's Clark Range Hunting Lodge in Clark Range, Tennessee for three exciting hunts for the famed Tennessee wild boar amidst the challenging terrain of the Cumberland Mountains. This week on Wild Adventure TV. Wild Adventures Television is presented by Whitetails Unlimited, a national organization working for an American tradition. Sponsored by Lightfield Ammunition, hunting slugs for any game. Hawksport Optics, bringing new focus to your world. Native to Europe and Asia, the wild boar has made its way to America in several ways. European strain boar were introduced to the Smoky Mountains in the early 1900s by George Moore, who attempted to establish an old world hunting preserve. These boar escaped and began to populate the lofty southern highlands of Tennessee and North Carolina. Over the years, they bred with remnant populations of swine brought to America by Spanish explorers to produce the famed southern razorback known today. Part European boar, part feral hog, and altogether mean, the Tennessee wild boar has carved out a reputation for himself in the Cumberland Mountains. His unpredictable temperament and razor-sharp tusks make him a trophy worthy of any hunter's steel. Wild Adventure TV hosts Brian, Mark, and DeLore Smith have traveled to Ken Moody's Clark Range Hunting Lodge in Clark Range, Tennessee to test the accuracy and power of the 20-gauge Lightfield Boar Buster Slug on these tough Tennessee wild boar, which often weigh several hundred pounds. Let's join DeLore Smith on stand and waiting for a Tennessee Razorback with her Savage Model 220 20-gauge slug gun. I'm out here with the Savage 220 20 20-gauge. We really dialed it right in. It's shooting incredibly accurate. So um, I have every confidence that if a boar presents an opportunity for me, I'm going to be able to take it down efficiently.
ranch, Hawk Honey. We just had two sows come in to the bait. Heard them coming up the trail, getting in the water and wallering a little bit. Then coming up here, and they're starting to feed on the corn here. They're two nice sized sows. I've already taken a hawk before, so I prefer not to take a sow at this time, although they look awful good. I think I'll wait for a boar. Stay tuned. Wild Adventure TV will return. Welcome back. Wild Adventure TV host D. Lori Smith is hunting Tennessee wild boar at Ken Moody's Clark Range Hunting Lodge in Clark Range, Tennessee. She's had an opportunity at two large sows which came in to feed, but has opted to wait for a boar. I think I'll wait for a boar. my boar using my Savage Model 220, 20 gauge, and uh, light field slugs. Can't do much better than that. I'm bringing home the bacon. Here in Tennessee, we're with Ken Moody in Clark Range, and we came down here for pigs, and we certainly got some pigs. And thanks to my Savage 220, 20 gauge with my Hawk Optics, my Deer Pass Scope, I dialed it right in, super easy at the farm. And, and it did its job. And it took him right down. I got a nice European boar and great big tusks on him. I'm so excited to be able to take this home and show the kids. Located in the beautiful Cumberland Mountains of Tennessee, Clark Range Hunting Lodge offers some of the finest exotic big game hunting available anywhere. 
As the state's oldest and largest commercial hunting operation, Clark Range offers over 1,000 acres of open hardwoods, dense laurel thickets, steep craggy bluffs, mountain streams, and canyons to provide visitors with the ultimate hunting experience. The terrain is spectacular in its beauty, but is physically demanding to hunt. Wild boar hunters at Clark Range may hunt from a stand or ground blind, or go on a traditional southern boar hunt utilizing dogs. This type of hunt is the most grueling, but is often the most exciting, as the dogs must first locate and then attempt to bay the boar. Let's join Wild Adventure TV host Brian Smith, locked and loaded with his DSG and Lightfield Boar Buster ammunition, and on the trail of a group of ornery Tennessee wild oh, boar. I'm gonna put it on his ear. You're gonna have to put it in his ear. And I'm rolling, I'm on. Yep. Oh, stop. Stop. Stick around and see what happens next when Wild Adventure TV returns. Welcome back. Wild Adventure TV host Brian Smith is hunting wild boar in the Cumberland Mountains of Eastern Tennessee. He and brother Mark have stalked up on a small group of hogs laid up at midday in the shade of a rocky outcropping. Brian has the crosshairs of his hawk deer pass scope on the head of a large painted boar, but only has a small shooting window through which to deliver the 20 gauge light field oh, boar buster slug. You're gonna have to put it in his ear. And I'm rolling, I'm on. Yep. Oh, stop. Stop. The black one's right next to him. The black one just put his head right next to his. Are you rolling? Yep. Oh, the black one. Shot the black one. No, he didn't. He got the right one. Oh, cool. You got him. Now that's how you shoot a hog, folks. We've been... Good things sometimes come in pairs, and with Brian's hog down, the guys quickly regroup so that Mark might have an opportunity at another large black boar that has remained in the area. They're gonna do what they did before they went down to there, and then they turned around and came back. Right. I only saw three of them leave out of there when you said Josh. That's all I saw. His nose, can you see it? Yes, sir. Hang on. I'm zooming in on him. I'm right on him. I gotta get to your left in order to get a clear shot on, so I'm gonna drop behind you this tree over your head, okay? Okay. All right, buddy, I'm rolling. You on that big pink nose? I am. You ready? Yes, sir. You can do it. You can do it. Oh, no. Got him. Yeah, bounce up now, hit the rock. Looks like a jackhammer. Man. Oh. Nice That's what you call a Smith Brother double hog date. This is what Tennessee. Call. That's just what right you call there. the light field smackdown. That's head right. Jackhammer. His That's head right. was bam bam. Right. <laughs> light field. Where's that, brother? That's right. Those board busters take him down one shot. That's the best kill I, I have ever seen on a hog. You like that? I one shot, one kill. kill. Twelve years. Yeah. 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 That's it, brother. Hey, look. That's yeah. it. And pseudo cameraman. Josh, we're breaking the <laughs> Yeah. Breaking the Yeah, kind of spur of the moment, but, uh, you know, make do. You say that I saved me miles of walking. I like it when they can shoot. Truly amateur myself. <laughs> <laughs> Amongst a bunch of professional amateurs, you're doing all right. <laughs> let's, let's go, go take a look at them bad boys. All right. What do you think? Yeah, let's go take a look at them. And I can tell you something else, boy. We've been chasing these hogs all morning. It's been a lot of fun. and had the dogs out on them and and uh, then we got into an area and come back and put the dogs up let them water and literally just put a spot and stock on these big hogs here at Clark Range we hunt with Ken Moody in Tennessee what an exciting exciting time to put a spot and stock on something that actually uh, puts a spot and stocks on you uh, it, it's a, a big adrenaline rush and uh, 
me and big brother able to get get this one down and then we saw another big old hog just laid up laid up in a hole right here in this rock in this rock face this cliff and uh I, we flipped guns and cameras and <laughs> by golly we got two of them but uh, very very exciting and we've had a, a wonderful wonderful weekend here in tennessee with ken and johnny our guide and we've just had a just had a ball absolutely absolutely love this uh, if you haven't ever tried hog hunting a, a, a operation like this is a great place to start if you have done hog hunting and you like it this is a great place you got to put it on your bucket list you need to come down here and visit i tell you what once you do you'll be coming back i know i will i'll probably be back here in just a couple months once the leaves start falling off the trees try hunting these things in the winter it's a great time and good good vittles on the table that's for sure Hey, Trent Marsh from Hawksport Optics here. Wanted to talk to you today about the Nature Trek family of binoculars from Hawksport Optics. Uh, the pair I've got here is the 12 by 50s. Where I'm at right now, sitting in a hunting blind, we've got some longer cuts to look at, some, some road beds, things like that. So we wanted to be able to reach out there a little bit further. Uh, a lot of times you don't necessarily need the 12. The Nature Trek family is also available in 8s and 10s. 32 and 42 millimeter objectives as well as these 50s. It's a great entry level style binocular. It's a polycarbonate body with a rubber molded uh, armoring system, focusing knob in the center, twist up eye cups to set your eye relief. Like I said, just a real nice entry level style binocular with those Bach 4 roof prisms, nice compact design. It's a great, great chassis. Uh, for somebody that's on a budget or, or just kind of getting into it and just doesn't want to spend a whole lot of money. So run over to www.hawkoptics.com. That's Hawk with an E. Take a look around the Nature Trek binocular family. We can get some to you soon. Thanks. Well, I got to tell you, it was an awesome morning. We uh, chased hogs around with dogs this morning for a little bit and we got on a couple and and uh, managed to uh, do all right that away. And then this afternoon we decided we'd come out and put a spot and stalk on some. And uh, you know, it really couldn't work out any better. We come up this into this particular area. As you can see, it's really hilly and rocky in here. And uh, caught a small group of them up on top of the rock. And uh, Brent Wheat, who was hunting with us this week, he managed to knock one down out of that group. And uh, I stayed down at the bottom of this hill, saw them move into this area, and it was the darnest thing. They started tucking up under these rocks like they were going to settle in here for the midday, get out of the sun and get out of the heat. So uh, as you saw, you know, Brian came in and he was managed to, to put his anchor right there done. And uh, the other ones that were with us with it run off and we look up the hill and I told my brother he said well I think I see a nose sticking out of those rocks up there and I looked through the scope sure enough right right here this old pig was laid up back in that hole and just had its nose out in the sunlight so we got set up and this old savage 220 got my hawk optics deer pass scope on there and I put that top ring right above this this hog's right eye, that was what I could see through the scope. And uh, as you can see, the proof's in the pudding, it didn't even move. We had to drag it out of the hole so I could get pictures with it. But, uh, you know, we've been down here at Clark Range, Tennessee, at Ken Moody's place. Uh, guy Johnny Thompson's been just awesome. Lori managed to take a really nice hog. Megan, Brian's daughter, took a really nice hog. Everybody that came down here with us ended up tagging out and going home, going home happy. And, uh, you know, between the terrain and, uh, and the good company and, and the great hog hunting, it's just been awesome. And as a matter of fact, it's so awesome. I can hear hogs walking right up above me right now. As a matter of fact, little brother, if you'll lend me a little dough, I might go ahead and see about another one. I might have <laughs> run out of money for processing. We'll pass the hat. We'll pass the hat, that's right. Well, listen, folks. 
This is a uh, definite return trip for us at Wild Adventures Television. We're gonna we're gonna be back and do this again. And, and like I said, I can't say enough about our accommodations here. Real comfortable place to, to stay. You know, what we call home base Northern Indiana. And it's about an eight hour drive down here to Clark Range, Tennessee. And uh, you know, it's an easy drive, beautiful country, great accommodations, awesome people. We've had just a wonderful time. And you'll definitely see us back here at uh, Clark Range with Ken Moody. Wild Adventures Television is presented by Whitetails Unlimited, a national organization working for an American tradition. Sponsored by Lightfield Ammunition, hunting slugs for any game. Hawk Sport Optics, bringing new focus to your world. Something's bound to happen any minute. We can hear Squatch over here. <laughs> we thought we smelled a Squatch earlier. Because they say they smell really bad. So we've heard a Squatch and we smelled a Squatch, we just had to see one. Not big enough. 